The most common question I'm asked is how do I get good at Linux or how do I get a burning passion for computers or even how do I get good at making videos? So why are you asking this to me? Remember who we're talking about exactly? Me, me, literally me. Not exactly this beacon of inspiration, but I understand. You can't feasibly ask bigger channels or more successful people for advice, and I think that's what makes smaller channels feel a bit warmer in some sense. So I've decided I'm going to answer this question by explaining how I got into computers, Linux, and making videos about it. Not exactly a draw my life, but more of an answer that employs a lot of anecdotal evidence. So let's begin. <laughs> I don't really believe in this concept of getting into things just for the sake of doing them or for any inherently useful reason. I didn't get into computers out of a desire to build a career from it, but rather because it fascinated me that using this device, I could create something like a slideshow that I could then share with other people. For me, ever since I was five, learning to use PowerPoint on my dad's Acer running Vista, it's always been about making something with the computer. Sure, I enjoyed the occasional game of Flight Simulator, but I always viewed the computer more as a means to an end rather than a machine for entertainment. As I got older, however, it would take on a much more important role. Sitting in front of a computer is probably the best example of a surrogate activity, and this is exactly what my use of PCs was about to turn into. No, I wasn't suffering from cerebral palsy or physically bullied at school. I've always been a healthy and easily overlooked person who experienced far less bullying than I probably should have. A lot of personal losses along with trouble at school were building up when I was 10 or 11, and being an immature young child, I had no idea what to take out all this built up pressure on. So as behavioral issues built up in the background, young me's idea on how to solve this, at least subconsciously, was to spend a lot of time on the computer. This was the period I began to get really into learning the ins and outs of making videos, and soon I began to take a look at Linux. That's what was so great about the computer to me. Come home from school after crying in the principal's office to a device that won't judge you for it. When in front of the monitor, mouse in hand and keyboard within reach, all else is gone. What happened elsewhere is irrelevant. All that mattered was what you wanted to do, how much time you had to do it, and how much you wanted to get it done. GIMP isn't going to care if you talked back to a teacher today, and Audacity isn't going to have an opinion on the death of a family member. Being so young and with no guidance on how to respond, this was my response to everything. Something bad happened? Cry. Then get on the computer and work on a batch script in Windows. It was a destructive thing to do, but you can't blame an 11 year old for not knowing any better. So that's how I got really into computers, software, and tech in general. General. I had the interest ever since I was really young, and it slowly developed into a coping mechanism. The months spent in front of one slowly built into a passion and intense knowledge about the subject. <laughs> I don't really consider myself a YouTuber in the sense that I engage with the YouTube community. I make videos. It doesn't matter which website hosts them. I've said before that my first ever video was a film of my friends throwing a can of Mirinda across a table, and I filmed it. And then I went on to make videos about modded Minecraft. I'd continue to do this for a long time, and the editing and presentation skills just naturally developed. I didn't really consult any objective guides for anything or use any methods besides just present how I felt was right. Like a lot of things, it just takes a long time. But that doesn't mean that some people aren't going to learn faster than others. Videos soon turned into a goal to me, an objective that remained consistent. Every year at school, you study for the final exams. In that sense, every year might as well be a completely separate event, since very rarely are the two sectors connected. Videos have been the single consistency in my life ever since I filmed that video with the Mirinda. I just never stopped making them for longer than a few months at most. I started Denshi Video, originally known as Denshi Draws, as a channel dedicated to drawing and videos with a lot of drawings in them. I'm definitely no artist, and to be honest, I have very little passion for the subject. However, I always liked the idea of drawing YouTube videos, so that's where this began. It's funny how things change so radically. <laughs> Just Use was born out of frustration. I had recently been spending the last few months having friends and family have trouble with viruses, only for me to have to install malware bytes to get rid of the issue. I wanted to channel that frustration into a video that I could refer people to when they had virus trouble. I soon began to see the potential in a series dedicated to promoting software that was free of charge, which was mostly open source to boot. I was very surprised to see how much exposure I was getting from these videos, and so I doubled down and made a lot of them, all fueled by frustration just like the first one. As to what I 
find to do with this channel, expect more of the same, along with a lot of much better videos too. Wide Web World's second episode is already written, and I plan to do many more movie and show reviews. Once again, I take suggestions, whether it be the YouTube comments or in the Discord server, so feel free to leave them in any of my videos. I check all of my comments, every single one. So yeah, I was Denshi, and this was my answer to your question. Goodbye.